Dreamy Now I'm singing and we're live. That's not ideal. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Is that what it's called? That was singing. That was like better than your singing, so don't even start throwing stones. <laughs> Hello, if there's anybody watching. I can't. I'm just trying to find the live feed. Just bear with me a moment. There we go. Oh, there is someone watching. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, let's pop that on mute. Oh, that's better. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Comments are on. Who's watching? Who's there? Who's saying hi? Hello, Tina. Okay, so welcome back, everyone. Hello, Rosie. All right, guys. So this afternoon, as part of the Great International Craft Show, I am going to be doing a scrapbook layout, a live scrapbook layout for you. Um, bit of a disclaimer before we start. I've had a few little internet issues today. Um, if my internet drops out, I will pop back later there is another one another live um, scheduled for 4 30 for an art journal page but if this particular one drops out i will be doing um i'll repeat this this evening um unscheduled i've just spent an hour on the phone to the service provider and we are hoping that everything goes well but apologies okay so today's special is 15 percent off Tim Holtz products and chipboard. So for this scrapbook page, I'm going to be using Tim Holtz products and chipboard. I know, right? So let's do it. Let's make it happen. What I'm going to be doing is um, I have got some marshmallow cardstock here. So marshmallow cardstock is a little uh, thicker than standard cardstock. It is more of a mixed media cardstock. Uh, it holds liquid better. It holds color and um, water better as well. It just holds all of the elements better than what plain, say, Kaisercraft cardstock, which is the other one that I um, that you can find online. So. What I wanted to do was show you how we can use that. Um, oh, okay, Karen, Karen, you missed the first one today. Well, guess what, sweetheart? You can go back and watch it anytime you like because it's still there. All right. So I have just cut this piece of 12 by 12 down to be a little bit smaller. As you can see, there's a bit of a border all the way around. Um, and that sits on a piece of cream. So I'm gonna work on this piece first and pop this one aside. So I'm going to be using Distress Oxides in Vintage Photo, Gathered Twigs, and I've got Ground Espresso, Rusty Hinge, and Hickory Smoke out. I don't really wanna go for those two just yet. I wanna use the Gathered Twigs and the Vintage Photo first, and I want to distress my edges. Um, so I'm using the blending what's that called brushed oh brain fade blending <laughs> blending brush <laughs> sorry louise and i have spent the last half an hour sitting in the backyard in the sun whoops that's a bit dark um playing with the dogs and um it Wait was absolutely waiting for the internet to come back on again so um all right so you can see what i'm doing here i'm brushing half off half on and I've got some dark edges, which I'm going to commit to now because it's on there. And I'm moving, sliding my paper. So this is going to be quite a vintage style layout at the rate that I'm going here. So I'm just going to go back now and I'm moving in a little bit more. Coming in a little bit more. And I was trying to not get that brush mark there, but yeah, you know what? There it is. And I'm going to go all the way around. So, um, like I mentioned today, 15% off on nataliemay.com.au. 
to get Tim Holtz products and chip and chipboard discounted. Um, the sale for those items is for today only. And the added bonus is, is you can build your orders over the next couple of days. So that means, of course, the no judgment special is back and we will be able to put all your orders together. All right. So that's kind of fun. So you pay $12.50 for your first order and then all your orders after that, you just select no judgment and we pop them together. Um, huh. Tonight with a drink, Tina. Look, if this drops out, then yes. If not, I will see how I go at the end of the day. I might pop in for a little. It depends on how creative I'm feeling at the end of the day. If I'm feeling, um, if I'm feeling like I want to keep creating, because I do, I am doing four live Facebooks a day until Sunday, so. I don't know, I might come in tonight and have a little bit of a play with the paper artsy, maybe. No promises though. It's, it's a lot going on here at the moment, so I'm, not, I'm certainly not promising that. All right, so I've gone all the way around my page. It's pretty, pretty rough. But what I also am going to do now is I'm just going to lightly just come in a little bit further. And you can see that I'm kind of taking it off and picking it up off the edge of this mat here. Where it's a little bit blotchy, I'm okay with that because I'm going to be adding some stamping layers and I'm going to be adding some stenciling layers as well. I wasn't adding stenciling, guess I am now because I've just said that out loud, so it's going to happen. So I love that what, uh, during my last Facebook, I mentioned about the scrapbook retreat that I've got coming up and somebody booked straight away. Now, how fantastic is that? So that's another lady that is going to be having an amazing weekend at Harndorf in the Adelaide Hills at the end of this month. So that's exciting. I was pretty happy to see that Christine was going to be joining us, which is wonderful. Um, all right, so you can see that I'm lightly, I'm trying, I'm not going to, I don't want dark in the middle here. And I'm just working on it slowly, building the colour, taking it off on the edges here and then kind of picking it back up. And I'm making all of this kind of dirty and I'll bring it, um, bring it up to camera in a minute so you'll be able to see what we're up to. Uh, so the other thing I just want to mention is there is a ton of products in the 30% off section at the moment as well. Lots of new products have been added. So you'll be able to um, find something in there for everyone. All right, that'll do. It's a little blotchy, but it's working. Um, I'm going to bring it up to camera so you can kind of see the edges. And even though I've got a few brush marks there, like I said, I'm going to be adding the uh, some more bits and pieces. So that's with Vintage Photo. What I'd like to do now is I'm going to use Gathered Twigs. Gathered Twigs is a little darker. And I'm just going to come in and give it a little bit of depth around the place. Most, oh, mostly on my edges, of course. But this different brown... It's going to start building up texture and I'll do the same thing in a moment with um, Rusty Hinge and Hickory Smoke. So I started with the Vintage Photo to start with because that's kind of like the neutral colour. Um, I'm very possibly wrong, but I think that that was the first colour that Timmy bought out. Oh good, now the dogs have started barking. All right, so now I'm going to go in with some Rusty Hinge. So Rusty Hinge is has got that orange base to it, and I'm going to use the same brush. Now, I've put a lot of colour on there, so I'm just going to take it off on the side and just add just a little so that it picks up some of that, 
that orange in the vintage photo because the vintage photo has more of an orange base. It's more of an orange based brown. All right, so this technique works fantastic with doing cards and tags um, and doing those sorts of things. There's lots and lots of fun things that you can do with this sort of technique. Uh, the last color I'm gonna add is the Ground Espresso and I'm just gonna take some of that orange off my brush first. So Ground Espresso is a lot darker. It's a lot dirtier. It's more of a chocolate. So I'm just gonna get some of that on there. So I'm playing with my, my browns and just working over the edges and the areas where, there we go. Picking up a little bit of that ink off the side, off the mat. And look at that, that's only taken a few minutes to do and I'm reasonably happy with that. And I've planted a base for my page. All right, ground espresso, rusty hinge, gathered twigs and vintage photo with a blending brush. So they are the stress oxides and of course they're all on special, 15% uh, off until about, well, till I go to bed tonight, which will be about, oh, who knows, 10.30, 11 o'clock, 7.30 if I have two glasses of wine, <laughs> asleep on the lounge. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. What I want to do now is start building on top of it. What can I do here to make this work? I have got a couple of my favourite stamps. I've got good old-fashioned wood stamps here, which we have these available, and at 15% off. I've got the compass. I've got the clock. Um, I want to add some circles. So this is the new paper artsy one, and I want to use something like a typewriter so i've pulled out my i've got this one here which is uh it's like typewriter words and i've also got this one here which is the uh eclectica by seth apter um and i like this one here so i might use that as well crack that out the packet so these are the paper artsy ones that came in today. Uh, one thing I haven't got organized is a photograph, but I'll get to that in a minute. So with my background, I want to start building some layers, but I need to use the colors that I've already started with. Um, I'm not going to use Rusty Hinge and Ground Espresso just yet. I'm going to start layering with Vintage Photo and Gathered Twigs. And what happened to my screen? Oh, I'm back. There we go. Uh, so I might stencil first because stenciling always sits better in the background uh, over stamps and I want something a little subtle so I'm going to use my new organic lines um, and I want to add just a little around whoops and I've just picked up a dirty sponge and I'm going to use that <clears throat> let's commit to it just like that. And the cool thing is, is I can extend them a little too. So I've just created a little shadowing, okay? I don't want to put too much around the place because it's, I don't want it to be taken, um, the focus to be taken away from the page. So, and I'm connecting all my stenciling with the, with the edges. That's really important to make it look uh, grounded and comprehensive. It needs to, it looks, needs to look like you've created this piece of paper. Okay. I think now I've started singing that song that's stuck in my head. And I'll just pop a little up here. Now, something else I've just noticed, and I've just had an idea. I've got all of this um, lovely ink sitting on here. So I'm going to give that a, lot, a very light spray with some water to activate it. And then I'm going to stamp a little onto my page. Oh, that looks good. Oh, 
you know you surprise yourself every now and then. Just nailed it. Look at that. Created those really cool little lines. You know what I didn't get, Louise? Is a heat gun. I wonder where my heat gun is. Oh, it's all right. Found it. Stop looking. You didn't have to get off the floor after all. All right. Let me just plug this baby in because I was almost organized because I just want to heat set that before I put any stamping on because I had that little bit of water on it. Can you hook me up, babe? Thank you. <laughs> Don't miss the chair. And I'll miss the chair. And over we go. All right. So let's take that extra little bit of, oh, that smells like dust, um, water off it. Burnt dust. Burnt dust now. It's fine. And I'm just going to clean my stencil just because I'm trying to start good habits. Said no one ever. All right. So let's build this background. Here we go. Let's go with this. So I'm going to pop my clock in. Now this one actually looks really good. Mine I've had for a lot of years. So to give you a bit of an idea what it looks like, not or manky, it's an it's called the game wheel stamp. Very, very cool to use. So I have really inked that. I've committed to it and to the point where I've gone, mm, not concentrating. I really need to off stamp it onto here first and then I can go on because I don't want it to be super dark. I'm after something shadowed, okay? And there's no reason why I can't use this as my ink pad. It's picking up just the right amount to get something subtle. Okay. And that is what I like about having these um, white, big white mats in the background is I can see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so you can see that really light clock area there. Um, I was going to use this one, but I'm not going to. I, I'm going to leave that. But that's another one that's available as well. This is probably another one of my most used stamps. Okay, let's go with this guy. So this one is one of the new paper artsy ones, and it's like um, like some like random words. Okay, so it's it's not fancy or anything. It's just got this subtle. Background number 108. We do have it in stock, don't we? Yes. Oh, no, let's find out. So, do I have a plan? Not really. I think my photo needs to go here or here. Let's let's make a plan. Test it onto there. There we go. Oh, and is it upside down? Oh shoot. No. Okay. So this because I'm stamping with gathered twigs. Gathered twigs is a little darker and I'm just building a little color on my edges with that did you see the photos of the um, the last tags that I put up the ones that I did in the live they came up looking pretty good I was surprised myself I'm just giving it a little finger smudge here because I can Okay, start building up my edges. I might just pop a little at the top up here. And a little down the bottom. Oops, sorry, I didn't realise that was out of camera. You just had to guess what I did then. Don't you love that? All right, so that one there is done. Cleaning stamp, cleaning stamp, cleaning stamp. And now I'm going to use this guy. So... Sticking with these same colours, I don't want to add in a new colour. I don't want to use ground espresso. I want to use gathered twigs. And I need to commit to how I'm going to do this. Keep the angles the same because your eye doesn't want to fight with anything. So I don't... I tend to not do this because if you do that, it gets way too confusing for your eye to be looking at and your 
the, uh, this is all about scrapbooking. This is about the photograph. So we're, we're not wanting to make it too much of a hot mess of, of confusing shapes, all right? We want it to be all harmonious. Hey, big word for the day. There we are. All right. And so off stamping with a little, you know, with a dirty stamp can bring something together that looks pretty great. All right. Liking it. Not taking me very long. Cracking through it. Okay, so something else I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little, little, little water splatter. So just off screen here, I've just got some clean water. And I'm just going to do a really light finger tap. And then I'm going to put that aside because I just want the um, Distress Oxides now to do its thing. All right, popping that aside. Let's get to this one here. So this is my background. This is my background piece. It's just a random piece of cardstock that is off my shelf and I'm gonna cover it up. So to do this, I want to use uh, some of the Tim Holtz papers. Oh, I didn't use that stamp. Maybe later. Um, so I've got my eight by eight pad. Love this. So this time I'm choosing, I'm wanting to choose a paper that's gonna work with this. All right, so I wanna choose, you know, I'm not gonna use that because you can see that it's too green. Um, that could work, pop that aside. Too green, too yellow, too brown, too green. That one can work. So that's how I go through and find a paper. This is a great pad. Oh, I like that. Oh, I know what I can use. Ding. Ding. The brain just started working. Let's get this guy out. I like that too, but it's a little bit green. I might come back to that. All right, so that's the paper stash, the Tim Holtz paper stash. So what I want to do is I want to build an edge because this paper is going to go on, on this cream, but I don't want the cream underneath. So I'm going to crack my... This one out and I'm gonna go one, two, three, dun, dun, dun. can you see what I'm going to do? I'm gonna make edges of pattern paper. Because I'm using an eight by eight pad and I do not have a knife in my hand here we go because I do not have a 12 by 12 piece of paper to sit it on I'm going to build my own collage edge to go all the way around so the way we do that is I'm going to tape it up like so is anybody watching or am I talking to myself oh no there's a couple of you watching just checking Expose all my tape. Um, so I'm just using my Alpha knife to tear off the edges. Have we got those in stock at the moment, Louise? What are they? The knives? Craft knife. Okay. Are they the ones that are on the way in? No, we've got some. We've got some? Good answer. And now I'm going to do this. badly and I'm going to tear my edges okay and it 
won't matter if I there you go have overlap because I will be able to okay apparently I can't talk and put things straight at the same time um, okay so you're gonna do that do that And now I can use one of these. So I'm gonna pop this down the bottom. I'm gonna overlap. Just gonna tear that back there. This is also a really good way of using up your scraps. If you have um, scrap bits of paper, things that you have, you know, saved for a rainy day because we're paper crafters, which means we don't throw anything out because we might need it one day. And don't laugh at me because we all know it's true. But we're just going to collage in like this. What have you lost? I was just thinking about the other thing. Oh. <laughs> Don't you mess up my, 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 my what's that called? My laptop stand there. All right. So you can see what's happening. We are going here and we're going to go here. And then I'll trim off the edges because I've gone with a little, I've gone a bit rough and a bit rough and ready over the edges, but that's okay. Because I can flip it over and just trim it back to 12 by 12. Or you could do it in your paper trimmer. But because mine is nowhere near me and I have a pair of Tim Holtz scissors in my hands, that's going to work just fine. And I'm not all about straight lines. I'm about making happy art rather than straight lines. Okay. All right. So, sorry. I could have done it quicker with a trimmer, but, you know. But we don't work like that, do we? So now I have got here, um, I'm going to put some, not that colour, not that colour, gathered tweaks on my brush. And just, just a little light dirty up of the edges. Take away that freshly cut look. The rubbing on and rubbing off on the mat, I can't stress how important that is. It takes takes away that, um, it, it takes away a lot of the e extra ink on your brush. And that's really, really important. So something that I've always, always said when I'm teaching and show, demonstrating how to do this, is that it's so much easier to put it on rather than take it off. So less is best for sure. All right, so that is going to sit there. Voila. I have a nice little frame. Happy days. And I'm not going to stick that on just yet because I want a flat surface to work on for the rest of my layout. Right. Probably should have got a photo. So let me find something super quickly. Here's a photo. It's clever Trevor. Let's just grab a photo here. It's way too big. Sorry, Trev. And you know what? I seriously just grabbed that out of the drawer and it's a bloody good color match. You know, every now and again, you just nail it. Cut that off. Cutting off the excess bits that I don't need to see on the side, okay? And yes, this would have been so much better with a paper trimmer, but like I said, no idea where my paper trimmer is. So, all right, that goes there. I want to pop that onto there. 
that's really crooked on that edge, but let's commit to it. Where's Louise gone? She's bailed on me. She's gone and found something better to do. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. All right. So I'm matting that on my piece of pattern paper. Trim. Oh, that bit's crooked. Trim. So I need to think a little about embellishments here. So I mentioned before I've got this Scrap FX um, window. I do like this. And in its raw form, it's going to look pretty great on the page. So chipboard is also on special this weekend. Um, but I might make it just a little bit darker to pick up this darkness in here. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to do that with ground espresso. So I'm just going to add a little depth this way. And what's happened is it's just just adding a little I don't need that much actually because I'm going to cover some of it but yeah it's just adding that depth that the page is is needing so these chipboard windows are fantastic for um, going in your journals and of course, you can make them any color you like. That's the best bit about it. So that's gonna go there. Trev's gonna go there. So just a little bit of information about how I'm setting up this photo. He's gonna go here because of his body language. Um, I don't love it on that side of the page. He's, he's more facing that way. So putting it like that is just gonna look so much better so much more betterer. Um, now, I wanna add some bits and pieces in under here, but before I do that, let's add some washi tape. So I've got some All and Create washi tape. This is a really nice, grungy tape. Let me bring it up to camera. I think you can see that. It's got, it actually matches the, um, the page pretty well. Surprise myself. All right, so I'm just gonna rip a bit off. And I'm gonna tear it down a bit, actually. And I tore off way too much. And I just want to make this bit here on a bit more of an angle. Like that. Because it will sit a bit nicer. I'm one of these people that doesn't love like a straight line like that. Visually, it's got to have more of a curve to it. It's a bit more visually appealing. I use that word way too much when I'm creating. How am I going? Half an hour. Great work. And touch wood. Wood, wood, wood. The internet hasn't died yet. I'll layer this one. So washi tape is fantastic when you have a lovely pattern one like this. And the fact that it matched was nothing short of excellent planning by me or a complete and total fluke. You choose. But I love that you can tear it. You can overlap it. All right, so I'm building a bit of an element here. And then this bit that I've torn off, I'm just trying to get it off my fingers. to run it down through here. All right, so you can see how we kind of went there. Let's let's stick that down. If I fluff around with it any longer, I'm gonna change my mind and I don't wanna do that. 
So how do I stick my chipboard down? I'm just using Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive today. Um, I use this or I use Puzzle Glue. Um, I use Dimensional, what do you call it? Dimensional Magic or anything really. It's completely up to you what you want to use. Your favorite adhesive. Um, I don't want to go over the top with it. That's a good amount. Less is best. And I'm going to connect that to my washi tape. All right. Trev's going to go there. Right. The other thing I'm going to, I just had that little brainwave about a minute ago, is using, oh. Using my Tim Holtz um, stamps. So I want to use those. I want to also add some of this. No. Maybe this one. I'm going to make this as an embellishment. So these little bits can stick out the side of my photograph. It is, Faye's just commented saying great washi tape. You know what? It damn well is. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Again, overthinking it. Stick it down. Get it over and done with. Bit of tape on the back. A little bit more tape. I'm not an edge-to-edge -edge taper. I'm a just-get-it-down taper. I find that um, I, if I go edge-to-edge -edge and I change my mind and I've stuck it down, then it's done. If I do it this way, I have the ability to be able to lift up, manoeuvre things around a little better. Oh, I like that. a rough bit from before. And I like this uneven building on the side of elements. Um, need a bit more tape there. Because it's all about this photo. It's all about framing this photograph. And that's so important. We get so wrapped up in creating these fabulous mixed media backgrounds and elements that we forget what we're actually doing in the first place. Uh, which is... Oh, shit, I've missed another bit. Which is um, building memories on our scrapbook pages. Okay, so... How good is this, Lou? I just reached into the cupboard and randomly chose a picture. I know. I saw that you're putting Trevor in a cage. Trevor's not in a cage. Well, he could have been. <laughs> Actually, that could have been really funny. <laughs> Don't tell Trev. <laughs> All right. So that's going to go there. Then I'm going to stick some... Not that one. Why am I not using this one? Because... I can't, I can't do that. It doesn't look right to go like that. It looks better like that, but I have no need for a vertical. So I'm going to find a, that's better, horizontal. Dirty it up so it's not so stark. He'll go there. I've got some string on my desk left over from the last class. Oh, where's one of those little... Where's the little bag of metals? Can you find those for me, please? Or did I put them away? There's no chance I put, it, put them away. 
They might be in here. As if I'd put something away. Don't be ridiculous. Okay, maybe I'll put it away. <laughs> All right. No, they won't be in there. You'll never find them, Louise. And you look the other drawers over that way more. Second one. No? No. Okay, don't worry about it. It doesn't need it if I can't find it. So, next thing is I want to add... So, I've got Trev on there. I feel like it's younger Trev. It is. It's, it's Trevor 2013, actually. That's That was four months before I got sick, actually. Um, shit, I can't find it. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Now, in the last video this today, I introduced you to this bad boy. Instant Dimension Foam Tape. So if you like your tape big, I can do big. So this is a 33 meter roll of foam tape. And let me tell you, it's not too bad value for money either. It is works out to be uh, pretty much the same as a small roll per meter, which is a win-win. But um, other than the fact, or and hey, the other thing I like about this is I can find it on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's got this gorgeous bit of something, something here. So there you go. That's an ultra new one. That's brand spanking new. All right, let's pop this down on here. Peel the back off. Peel the back off. Come on. I won't pop him upside down. That really needs to be at the other end. So we will make it to the other end. And I need that to sit up a little bit higher as well. The silicon foam tape is going to be fantastic for that. I do believe we've got a couple of rolls of these left in stock, don't we, Lou? We do. We do. So what I love about the silicon foam tape is that it is super epic sticky. Not just super sticky, it's super, super epic sticky. And it is clear and it sticks like, like nothing else. I was going to say like, like dog poo to Louisa's shoe in the backyard a few weeks ago. Not ideal. Not happy. She wasn't pleased. I may have giggled. All right. It's like, it's it's super sticky. And it's clear. So if for some reason you have to stick that down, you have to stick something down to... I'm just going to... I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go that way. And baby, we are down. I've left that long because I'm going to find those pieces of metal. That I've put in a safe place. Which is clearly not right here. Okay. Done, 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 done. That's, we can put some of these on today. What do you reckon? So jump rings. I've used jump rings before when it comes to layouts. And I'm actually going to pop on a little bit of distressed oxide in hickory smoke and I'm going to introduce this um, I'm going to do it in a different color and introduce it oh yeah I'm going to introduce this stamp because I got it out and I said I was going to use it Hey, Lou, how good is this washi tape? Can you tell me how much of it, how much is number 13 for a roll? Because that, that is damn good. Number 13 washi tape for All and Create gotcha. is the perfect, perfect colour combination for this, uh, for, for the Distress Oxides. Bugger. Okay, so I really need to move on because I can't find it. Okay, so let's get a little bit of stamping on here. I've got... Um, 
$9.20. $9.20. Okay. So, and that's a really long roll. So that's the one that I've used. The, I don't know what it's called, but it's very awesome. Fasteners. Fasteners. All right. It needs some big stamping. So these Tim Holtz foam stamps are cling foam stamps. So I love them because they are really easy to use. I have this super cute little block that I've had forever and ever and I don't even know where I got it from or what the deal is or... I might be able to see if I can source some again, but just the handy size little block to be able to add some random words or add your phrase. So I just need to think of something. I know, I found a, I found a word, something's just come into my head and I'm gonna stamp them. I'm gonna go down here. In fact, I'm gonna start with the bottom word first so what I love about these is you can use these with paint. You can use these with any sort of medium. I'm going to use Distress Oxides. Is this colour going to work first? Let's have a look. The colour's going to work just fine. So I've got the advantage to be able to double stamp and they clean off really nicely just by wiping them over with a baby wipe. So the foam stamps are great. I do believe we have two different fonts available. We've got this one in an uppercase and a lowercase. Um, we did have another one, but I think we've sold out of that. Um, but yeah, they are excellent for doing this. Um, I used to do it where I do write the word on the block and then just do one stamp, but that was a, a lot harder to line up when you messed it up um, or you didn't get a really nice impression. So, and it takes just a second. So yeah, with acrylic paint, you just have to wash it straight away. Um, I recently gifted a friend for her birthday a custom t-shirt with a phrase on it and I used this stamp set to create the words. Um, and I stamped onto fabric with black archival ink so that it was permanent over acrylic paint um, but I do believe what do I need next uh, I do believe that she loved that that was a very very unique handmade gift that she will never find anywhere else all right um, and I just need to quickly write this word now, so just while I'm doing this, just to recap on today's specials. So today's specials are chipboard, which we've used in the background, and find, um, and Tim Holtz products. So Tim Holtz products includes Distress inks and Distress Oxides. So that means you can get your re-inkers, you can get um, your oxide pads if you're missing colours from your collection, you can also get the Distress Mini set that you that I used in the previous uh, live Facebook earlier today. Um, Tim Holtz also has a great range of storage solutions as well as um, it's got the pattern papers, embellishments. There's a, a huge range of products with Tim's name on them. So I encourage you to do that. If you're wanting to place an order tomorrow as well, because tomorrow's special is going to be a bloody ripper. Um, yes, you can choose tomorrow the no judgment special, which means you've paid postage already today 
and you don't have to pay it again tomorrow. So that's fantastic for you because you can make the most of... Actually, I might stick those on after because they won't stick on straight away. Yeah, so you can take make the most of tomorrow's specials as well, which I know you're going to want. I can tell you right now, you are going to want tomorrow's specials. Um, and I'm doing tomorrow four live Facebooks again. So there'll be a 9am coffee and chat telling you about what's on special, showing you some bits and pieces. Um, and then at 10.30 tomorrow morning, I will be using those products that are going to be on special in a couple of live Facebooks. All right. And I'm very, oh, I thought I was going to slip up and tell you what the special was, but I haven't done it. Um, so the new products that were released at nine o'clock this morning were the new paper artsy stamps and stencils and the lace books. Now they are not going to be on special at all over the weekend. So if you are waiting for them to be on, spe on special, they will not be discounted. The other thing that will not be discounted is my stencils. My stencils, the Natalie May scrapbooking ones, will not go on special because they are already at the lowest possible price that I can offer them to you. So um, you will not find those at a discounted price. Okay, I hope that answers the question that Faye has just asked. Um, so there we go, I just had to cut that bit off. So you can see what I've done there. So added that on. I want to add on some of these little jump rings. Jump rings have lots and lots of different uses. Um, what I'm going to do today is find my tweezers. I'm going to make a dob of glue on my mat here. And I'm going to pick up one of these, dip it in the glue, and pop it on my page. So because everything else I have done, I have done in the brown tones, I'm using the, I think they're more like an antique bronze, just to job them on the plate. So the other thing that could have worked if I had got myself organised is using some glossy accents or some dimensional magic. In fact, that would have been much better. Um, because uh, it wouldn't be so clumsy. But what I love is these little jump rings are very similar to the stamping that I've put in the background. That um, really lovely paper artsy stamp. So just dipping it in, popping it on, and then the very last thing that I'm going to do in a minute is add some staples and a little black pen doodling okay more doodle jokes bring it on girls <laughs> i know i'm very mature for my age what are you eating grapes, grapes. Oh. are they not, good are they good uh, grapes like last week no. they're not the good grapes no. ripped off all right so you can see what I'm doing here, like that, like that, and that's annoying me. Okay, so done, done, done. Little black pen. My Pilot pen, just the thin one, which is also available online. I'm not going to do that because I'll run my finger through the glue. Let's just wipe it off and... And then I'll bring this up to camera in a minute and I'll talk back through the details for those of you playing along at home. Um, all right. Good oh. And guess what, Louise? We didn't seem to lose, to the, lose interweb. the interweb. That man on the phone. Oops told us 3.30. Happy for him to be wrong. I'm very happy for him to be wrong. 
nailed it. All right, what did I say I was going to do? I needed to find that ring, but I'll do that when I get off camera. Right, let me bring this up and I'll talk you through what we did. Okay, so the background has got the marshmallow cardstock, which is here, which is a slightly thicker, heavier weighted cardstock, and I trimmed it down. The edges are done using a blending tool and the Tim Holtz Distress Oxides in a couple of different colours and I will uh, mention those in the comments when I post the photograph. We added a little stenciling as well, some stamping on our edges with Tim Holtz and Paper Artsy Stamps. We also used chipboard, the chipboard window, which is this guy here, and added some colour to that uh, and popped it on in the background. Um, what I actually liked about the window is it's got these circles and it's got the circles here and the circles here and the circles here and the circles in here. You see how it's all kind of tying in together? Um, we used one of the chipboard rulers. So this is a, um, sorry, a wooden ruler from Tim Holtz and we dirtied that up a little bit. This down here is the washi tape from All and Create and that is number 13. 13 and we stamped the title using the Tim Holtz foam stamps as well um, and then for the background which is just on one piece of ivory scrap cardstock we created a frame all the way around using strips of paper out of this fabulous little book so there you go done happy days so you can jump online today and get 15 percent off of tim holtz and off of chipboard don't forget to also have a look in our mega clearance section there's products in there that are like 50 to 60 percent off okay so there is a heap of stuff in there have a bit of a mooch around and they're on special all weekend um and if you are wanting to order the new tim holtz color don't forget you can join up on my private facebook group natalie may scrapbooking creative community and um there is a poll where you can easily order the new tim holtz color and you can easily order the new dina wakely products as well which have all been ordered and on the way this way you can guarantee you've got some uh coming in so nataliemay.com.au i'm going to take a photograph of this layout of clever trevor and we are and i'll post that online with the link to the products that we used so thanks guys um for joining in and 15 percent off today on tim holtz and chipboard and uh, make the most of the no judgment postage don't forget postage is not free but it's free on your second order and your third order and your fourth order, and your fifth order, etc., etc., etc. All right, guys, stay awesome. Chat soon, and I will see you back here at 4.30 for an art journal page using Distress Oxides.